take a simple idea and take it seriously okay and somehow that point of time frankly uh, to be very frank even i didn't know whether i would be able to complete it see i i knew that i would be able to easy i would be able to complete 100 crores but i was not sure if i would be able to do it before my 50th birthday okay in the initial phase when i started telling my investors no one took me seriously even my family members nobody took seriously they said ki theek hai bol raha you know it's a good story to tell but real life mein nahi hota hai but now after 8 10 years when numbers started you know putting up together today when i show my investments and portfolio to clients they take they tell me gajendra ye to ho jayega this is this is very easy they 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 assure me ki ye aaram se ho jayega you know <laughs> very good evening friends and uh, warm welcome to each one of you to the sfa talks uh, by network fp with us uh, we have uh, today mr gajendra kotari uh, founder ceo of etika wealth welcome gajendra hi sadeek good afternoon a very good afternoon gajendra and welcome to the sfa talks by network fp good to have Thank you back you. sir it's my pleasure always uh, to be back uh, with uh, my friends at network fp uh, the pro members uh you know i believe whatever in the last 10 12 years uh, whatever i am today a lot of credit goes to network fp team right from initial days uh, when we used to huddle with sadeek and discuss new ideas so today i really can't imagine that you know uh, you know 12 years down the line we have, all of us as a community have gained so much with these interactions amazing uh, gajendra in the first place before we get started and uh, on behalf of the entire community gajendra uh congratulations for the great journey you nikhil and the entire team at etika has uh, taken 1400 crores managing 2000 plus families uh with a team of 31 team members across delhi mumbai kolkata surat and uh, you know all the places and this is i believe you are just 40 almost like you know i think 40 uh, years there's still a very very long way to go so first congratulations for what you achieved Uh, thank you so much adik thank you <laughs> super so gajendra let's dive into the uh, dive into these talks right away and uh, you know when i was making questions for you uh, uh, i had so much to ask i i just had so much to ask uh, because of two things because you do a lot of innovative things and second uh, over these years i have interacted so much with you uh, that you know we know how gajendra and gajendra is uh, uh you know uh, philosophy is about uh, this practice so let me just get started with uh, the the sure. first question uh you are hugely motivated and inspired by the one idiot movie we all know uh, the uncle and uh, you know how uh, the the small uh, the small uh, boy achieved that one uh, you know 100 crores uh, of wealth and actually bought a rolls royce and first when you said when you declared that i also want to buy a rolls royce i mean i was like okay must be gajendra one of his crazy statements uh, uh, but you really have become very, very serious about it and seeing the way you're growing your wealth and practice it's very much possible so what what is the reason behind the, this declaration of buying a rolls royce uh, uh, gajendra absolutely uh, so you know what happens sadik i mean when you see this movie uh, though it is 10 years old today i still believe this 100 crore figure is a very big magical figure right uh, and what i realized ki when people come they see the movie and they go back and take it lightly ki ye sab movie mein hi hota hai hindi filmon mein hota hai real life mein aisa nahi hota hai you know real life mein ye 100 crores nahi ban sakta real life mein ye rolls royce nahi khareed sakta hai to to people take it very casually you know just as an entertainment and they really don't take home any message from it actually so when i saw that i i thought ki yaar uh, you know in our industry we have always been telling ki this industry creates wealth but people have not created wealth out of this wonderful product so can i be something where i can show it and uh, uh, with your permission can i share a couple of slides sadik yes. so that you know it yeah. becomes very uh, more attractive yeah. so <clears throat> so i always believe that ki Uh, you know if if i am able to show it and uh, this is what i believe is uh, this is this is the reason so you know this guy says shane parish the most powerful story in the world is the one you tell yourself 
so you may you may give gyan to anybody and you may you know uh, uh, make a sales out of it but if you have to convince yourself okay then you have to yourself believe in a true story and uh, once you believe in it then everything revolves around that story for you okay and yeah. i'm sure i would have shown this slide to many of you that as swami vivekananda just said take up one idea and make that idea your life think of it dream of it etc etc and this is the only way to success and i don't know how many of you us knows about this charlie munger's wonderful one liner who says take a simple idea and take it seriously okay and somehow that point of time frankly uh, to be very frank even i didn't know whether i would be able to complete it see i i knew that i would be able to easy i would be able to complete 100 crores but i was not sure if i would be able to do it before my 50th birthday okay and uh, but then and then in in the initial phase when i started telling my investors no one took me seriously even my family members nobody took seriously they said ki theek hai bol raha hai you know it's a good story to tell but real life mein nahi hota hai but now after 8 10 years when numbers started you know putting up together today when i show my investments and portfolio to clients they take they tell me gajendra ye to ho jayega this is this is very easy they 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 assure me ki ye aaram se ho jayega you know <laughs> so okay. so this this has been my idea one idiot my life revolves around it i made a punchline also creating idiots one at a time so if by being this one idiot if i can inspire many other young people to become one idiots you know this is uh, this is life and that is why this has been my my identity now uh, i don't write any designations nothing i just tell people that i am one idiot follow me uh, okay. and and one of the reasons why i wanted to become one idiot sadik was uh, and I, of course i went to amul gupte and um, you know the creator and told him sir ek din main one idiot karke dikhaunga but the bigger reason of becoming one idiot was this uh, the whole idea of the owner of this restaurant deeds here kind of thing you know so i i tell people ki bahut logon ne to equity se paisa banaya hai sadik you know rakesh jhunjhun wala ramdev agarwal but you have also been in this industry for many years we you know can you tell me sadik you were in client facing role and you have made a lot of advices do you can you name me one person who you know who has made wealth through mutual funds you know koi naam yaad hi nahi aata hai ki jisne outsize wealth banaya hai aur duniya unko jaanti hai aur he has become a celebrity log aake autograph le rahe hain सिर्फ आके झुंझुन वाला अगर रास्ते में मिल जाते हैं रामदेव तो लोग ऑटोग्राफ मांगते हैं बट ऐसा कोई है नहीं कि म्यूचुअल फंड्स के लिए तो आई हैव टू रियलाइज कि ये फ्रेम खाली है मे बी यू नो एज अ वन इयर इफ आई कैन फिल दिस फ्रेम बाय शोइंग द रियल लाइफ दैट दैट वुड बी माय माय यू नो लाइफ में लगेगा कि कुछ किया है एक्सीलेंट गजेंद्र एंड एंड जस्ट टू टेल आवर व्यूअर्स आई एम श्योर मेनी ऑफ देम नो बट अ रॉल्स रॉय कॉस्ट ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 5 करोड़ प्लस गजेंद्र Uh, in today's time, so this and, is this. No, आज के डेट में पंद्रह करोड़ का गाड़ी है सादे. Oh, पंद्रह. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. So <laughs> one up to fifteen crores. And yes. friends, it's not really about Rolls Royce or fifteen crores. It's it's more of a, a proof that mutual funds can do this also. Uh, right. And uh, you know, before telling our investors that story, we need to, as Gajendra mentioned, we need to tell ourselves and we need to prove it to ourselves. And Gajendra also has promised that all the members of Network FP will get a ride on Marine Drive. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. It is important, Sadik. You know, there is a there is a motive behind this statement because if by offering this ride to many of our pro members, clients, whosoever yeah. it is, if see, I, I can tell you, our this one hour session may not inspire as much as a person taking a ride in Rolls Royce for ten minutes. I can tell you, absolutely. Seeing, seeing is believing. If they they can experience themselves here, ye, you know it's it's a different level altogether. Then they will go back home and they'll be far more motivated, you know, to do do it for us. And you ask me why you are doing it, right? You, me, none of us need hundred crores. Yeah. But क्या होता है ना there is something called एकी गाय which all of us would have read. कि what know your reason for being, you know. Mm. What is the reason you get up in the morning? I'm sure many of the advisors, pro members who are now listening to the call, including yourself, Sadik. If you want, we can take retirement today also. You, you and me don't need to work, right? But why we are doing it? Because we have a purpose, you know. And God has been kind. God is, we are good at something, you know, creating something. And God has chosen us to deliver and pass this message. And the world needs it. Okay, the world needs it big time. you know you're doing a lot of financial planning uh, awareness seminars i think network fpis so it th- there is there is a there is a bigger larger 
गुड मोटिव बिहाइंड इट सो सो दिस हंड्रेड करोड इज दैट पर्पज की एक अगर मैं इफ अ कॉमन मैन कॉमन पर्सन हु इज नॉट बॉर्न इन बॉट अप इन बॉम्बे हु कम्स फ्रॉम अ स्मॉलर टाउन you know uh, and the city owns that person and gives him that platform to create 100 crores without any godfather then i think many of us can do it actually very well said kajendra uh, that brings to my next question for you and uh, for which i have like really very very high respect for you uh, beyond this rolls royce also which is you know your your uh, belief in maintaining transparency Uh, mm-hmm. in all your ips and with all your clients you tell upfront the kind of commissions which you earn from their investments a uh, 1 crore investment karte ho to actually you earn around a lakh of rupees also right and uh, it needs guts it needs a lot of uh, guts to say that yeah i'm going to earn 1 lakh because many of us really tend to see ki mai actually 1 lakh kyun kama raha hu ye investment se so how has this either benefited you disclosing of commissions or it has backfired you uh, with your with your clients yeah so see the idea is very simple sadik uh, you know ours is a is a we are not dealing in products we are dealing in something very intangible right. okay hamara results 5 saal baad pata chalte hain hmm. the whole world tries to sell returns in the first meeting you know if you were my client you were a prospect client i would like to sell you returns ki you know why you should come to me because i can give you 15 18 20 20% return obscure whatever but i have learned it that if you try to sell risk in the first meeting okay then the client will find ki yaar this this person is different you know sab log returns bech rahe hain ye risk bech raha hai ye bol raha hai ki boss aap mere paas aaoge to shayad paisa nahi bhi ban sakta hai 5 saal tak kuch result dikhai nahi dega okay you know so all the stuff which is telling me is new to me the client will think and uh, you know he is very honest about it and in our in our uh, business i can tell you integrity or honesty is the biggest biggest tool marketing you can call it as a marketing also i mean you know because that's what really client wants so again i show my examples again here to the client and i show him a slide because sometimes kya hota hai wo batate na to wo usko yaad nahi rehta hai but main usko na ye slide dikhata hu jo main aapko dikhane ja raha hu i show him this slide i show him sir abhi aap jaise 1 lakh dalte ho to mujhe aapka 2% cost hota hai you know i tell him up front every year 2% is debited from it उसमें से एक परसेंट हमको मिलता है ऑन एन एवरेज ठीक है और एक परसेंट एमसी रखती है तो पहला साल में एक लाख मुझे एक हजार रुपया मिलेगा राइट पांचवा साल अगर मैंने आपको होल्ड करके रख लिया और आपका वैल्यू दो लाख हो गया तो मुझे दो हजार रुपया मिलेगा बट मेरा मोटिवेशन एक हजार या दो हजार कमाने में नहीं है मेरा मोटिवेशन है कि बाईस साल बाद आपका अगर एक करोड़ वैल्यू हो तो उस वक्त मुझे एक परसेंट उस पर एक लाख रुपया मिलेगा ये मेरा बिगर गेम है एंड आई एम श्योर एज ए क्लाइंट यू विल नॉट बी कंप्लेनिंग बिकॉज आपका एक लाख एक करोड़ बना के दिया है only when you win is i win okay absolutely to aur main client ko bolta hu sir aaj to aap se main bahut kam kama raha hu 10 saal baad aap se main bahut zyada kamaunga aur aap khushi khushi doge you know when you tell all this to the client hmm. the client you know gets into a comfort with you ki yaar this guy is talking about my returns my uh, you know well being right aur client jeetega to hum sab jeetenge right absolutely if client wins we all win if client doesn't win none of us win. so Correct. by talking all of this in the first meeting i mm. sometimes my clients don't ask but i i ask them sir aapne ek cheez mere se puchna bhul hi gaye you remember that pan prag wala ad long back <laughs> par hum hum aapse ek baat to kehna bhul hi gaye uh, you know shaadi mein so i said you know you have not asked me what is my earning many clients may not ask you in the first meeting because they feel uh, you know it is a very uh, it's not a comfortable question to ask you know at least so i said sir aapne pucha nahi but it is my duty to tell you और क्या होता है फर्स्ट मीटिंग में अगर आप बता दो ना तो यू आल्सो फील वेरी लाइक क्लाइंट देन इफ ही इज साइनिंग अप ही नोज व्हाट ही इज पेइंग फॉर इट करेक्ट ओके एंड मैं उनको सामने बोल देता हूं सर ये कॉस्ट आपका ही लग रहा है डायरेक्टली नहीं आ रहा है इनडायरेक्टली आ रहा है बिकॉज़ वी आर डूइंग थ्रू रेगुलर प्लान सो 1% आपका कटता है मतलब यू नो काइंड ऑफ थिंग तो विद दे आर फाइन दे आर 99% क्लाइंट्स हैव नो फस अबाउट इट राइट गजेंद्र अनदर रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन अबाउट द अर्निंग्स पार्ट बट yes you know you also disclose your own portfolio your family's portfolio and disclose in the sense not just the kind of holdings which you have actually the amount which you have right correct uh, as a family and uh, uh, how has this actually instilled trust in your client and uh, why did you start doing it and how it has started giving you uh, 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 you know how has it started paying you off and many of us are actually uh, 
you know, we are not comfortable showing the small portfolio that we have. But I, I believe you started right from the beginning and it has gone. Now, if you also want to disclose what's your family portfolio like uh, to the audience. So again, the answer lies in this slide only, Sarik, to begin with. Sari uh, industry is like this slide, you know, one lakh ka ek crore ban gaya. But kisi bhi client ke portfolio mein aas tak nahi bana. <laughs> you know, forget clients. I have not seen anybody in my life who, who has this statement and saying ki mera bana hai, right? Hmm. Including the people from the mutual fund industry, right? So, so then somewhere we are selling a lie. I mean, you know, because somewhere, uh, you know, investors returns is this much, investment returns is this much, but investor returns are not that much. Hmm. So either we don't, we ourselves as an industry don't believe in this. Okay. And that is why that, that was the whole reason why I like this Nassim Nicholas Talib's uh, saying that never ask anyone for their opinion, forecast or recommendation. Hmm. Just ask them what they have or don't have in the portfolio. So my clients are going to have me, I can tell them that I can give them some advice. I can do everything I can do. But if I am not doing what I believe in it, okay, then I'm telling you a lie. Now, what happens is that in our industry, you know, we all are selling a dream to our clients that we will create wealth for you. Okay. But if we have not created wealth for us, ourselves, in the first place, in the, in the right way, in the honest way, then haven't we told a big lie to our client? Client will say, you do it yourself first, then you don't have to do it. So that's when I realized that every day I became bigger, what happens is that your clients will only listen to you when you have done that and you have become big by doing that. Then they will know, see today why I, I have, we all have a huge respect for Warren Buffett. Why every year 50,000 people throng to Omaha to listen to that guy. He, he, he shares nothing new. He only tells what he's been telling for the last 50 years. But we all have a huge respect because that guy has done it. Matlab, you know, he's the richest investor in the world. Uh, India's Warren Buffett, maybe Rakesh Junjumwala or Ram Agarwal, they have done that. Right? But in our industry, mein, you know, I don't know of any CEOs or CIOs, fund managers, anybody who has mutual funds so much wealth. Bana hai. Okay? Because they never showed to the public ki mein, mera scheme mein saal se dana aur hai, right? So that is when I read Karan Dutta's post. Karan Dutta, you know, tweeted this sometime back. No cryptos, no IPOs, no NFOs, NFTs, f and day trading. I don't do anything. Long only active mutual funds and portfolio of 20 stocks. I really liked it. I kind of copied it and I said, I don't do any of these. Besides, I don't have LIC, hai, na PPF, hai, na ghar hai. So you know very well, Sadiq. I don't have a house. I don't have a car also, okay? Though I intend to buy Rolls Royce, but in today's date, I don't have a car, gold, nahi hai, direct equity, nahi hai, uh, you know, fixed deposits. So, sara sara 99% of my money is in mutual funds, maybe 1-2% is in a couple of PMS schemes, which itself is like a mutual fund. It's a managed portfolio, you know? So, this is me and my portfolio. Now, when you show this to the client, you don't have to tell anything about it. You are doing, you know, you are uh, you're practicing what you're preaching, right? So, fir, to fir I tell the client, this is what I'm doing and this is what I'll do with your money. Take it or leave it kind of thing. Because I think uske, uske there is nothing bigger marketing. If I if people want to say this is marketing, I think it's a marketing kuch nahi, kuch uske alawa kuch, there is no other way to convince client better. Correct. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Gajendra, for sharing that perspective. Love that current tweet, and it's really, uh, you know, it's like hundred percent conviction in what you're doing. There's no iota of doubt about what you're doing. You know that way. Yeah. Uh, Gajendra, uh, you know, you and Nikhil, uh, your brother, uh, both of you. I mean, one, both of you are champs. You know, just amazingly good at the work which you both do, right? Uh, how do you really distribute? Many of us work with our spouses, with our uh, brothers. Uh, or even, you know, uh, father and son or uh, parent and uh, children kind of this. But how do you actually distribute your work? What What's Nikhil's responsibility and where does your responsibility uh, lie at the organization? Right. So, see, I've been uh, very lucky, Sadiq, uh, uh, that that from the day I started this business, I was not alone. Uh, my, they were my I had a real brother uh, who is now in SM and looking after another family business. So he was there earlier, and then when Nikhil came, uh, Nikhil joined. So, uh, so you know, 
two is always better than one, right? And three is better than two because uh, if you're getting this within your family itself, uh, what more do you want? Because, mm-hmm. you know, many of us members have seen they're all single person army. Uh, they have to do accounts. They have to do business. They have to comply and do compliance, everything. It becomes difficult and the same person cannot be good at all the things. I mean, if I look at your story also, you and um, Preeti, right? Uh, have been managing this show for the last 12, 13 years and that's that's a teamwork. So, uh, Nikhil, of course, has been far more hardworking, far more intelligent. I can tell you, more more intelligent than me. I I, and each one of us have our advantages. So, luckily, I, I feel where my advantage is that uh, I've been grateful to God that I my my big decisions have always worked out right. Okay, I've been very uh, somehow uh, lucky with big decisions in life. Uh, just to tell you that you know, shifting from Andheri to Churchgate. Mm-hmm. Okay, it was a big decision. Leaving, uh, coming from London to start my business in India was a big decision. Okay, uh, so uh, you know, God has been kind that these big decisions have made me right. But as far as the nitty gritties and the you know the micro nutrients are concerned, that is where Nikhil is good at. Actually, he's quite he's quite hands on. Uh, uh, again, I am good with client talking and IAPs and this thing. And Nikhil is good in kind of research and. Uh, uh, managing a team at office, managing the back office and everything. So, so that is how, you know, we are able to complement itself. We have another design, designing company called Finis, uh, right. where we create a lot of products. Again, Nikhil is quite involved in that. Okay. Uh, Nikhil is good with media also. Uh, he takes care of media as well. Oh. So that's how, and of course he meets clients as well. Mm. No doubt about that. He also uh, meets a lot of clients. So, so that's how by and large we have kind of, divided our responsibility and it's it's quite complimentary i i can tell you i mean our natures are very different so we when we i mean we of course have you know discussions debates and arguments but uh, but that always brings the best out of you that's all yeah uh, gajendra another uh, you know core identity of gajendra and etika has been the way you have uh, leveraged on technology right from the beginning and you have taken multiple sessions around technology and adoption of technology for financial advisors so what I wanted to ask you, not really why technology, I think everybody has that answer today. Uh, but what is the, you know, commitment to technology, quantitative commitment? What is the actual spend that you and Etika actually does on technology so that we get an idea that we to keep our technology for uh, our technology related uh, stuff? Hmm. So see, I mean, Sadiq, uh, our industry, luckily there are no infrastructure commitments as such required, you know, uh, except from having a good, so the only three things that we require in our office is good office. Mm. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, a very good working environment is required. Second is uh, good infrastructure in terms of the IT. Okay. You need, uh, I always tell you need to have the best uh, as entrepreneurs, you need, you, we need to have the best uh, laptops and systems, hardware. Okay. Don't ever compromise on the quality because when you're client, you're you know always client facing. You go to clients' places. You should have the best of mobile phones and best of this thing, uh, you know. And uh, within office also, uh, your team members should uh, again uh, <clears throat> have the best of gadget because twelve hours, ten hours, they are spending on that, right? Hmm. So you can you may say five thousand rupees on a on a poor quality computer on a lesser quality computer, but you know it has a huge time cost. Okay. So that's very important. So uh, in terms of spending every year, I would say uh, at least 10, 12 lakhs of hours goes in uh, uh, in these IT, whether it is softwares or, uh, uh, or you know, the back office systems and stuff like that. We don't shy away from buying anything, which if you feel is adding value to it. Okay. okay. Uh, because in industry, there's no cost heavy. Name. You know, many people make hue and cry about the cost, but if you take the best of software, 30, 40, 50,000, 60,000. Okay. Mm. And, uh, and they, they are a lot of, they are a big enabler in you going to the next level yeah. because the only input in our knowledge is knowledge. If you're not able to learn from, uh, you know, if you're not able to do validation, then why should a client come to you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, if a software can make that work easier for you and your team is easier, you, you, you can spend a lot of time in uh, sitting with the client. So, so the best uh, IT, best broadband, everything like, you know, it has to be top class, uh, even if it, if it involves a one-time cost also, it's worth it. Absolutely. And uh, I know my, my team told me that today is uh, 
the Entrepreneurs' Day. So happy Entrepreneurs' Day to you and to Thank all you. the uh, audience here, uh, viewers here. Can you all please, please uh, you know, uh, wish each other Entrepreneurs' Day? I think uh, since uh, Gajendra brought it up, you know, we are all entrepreneurs. We need to have the uh, uh, right uh, mindset to spend on the right things. You know. Uh, so to that extent, uh, happy Entrepreneurs' Day to everybody. Uh, yes, to all of us. <laughs> enable the chat. I've enabled the chat. You can wish each other friends. Since sometimes we keep it uh, off so that there are no disturbances. Okay. So, Kajin, uh, the next question is, uh, let's get a little bit technical and about the industry. Hmm. Uh, you know, mutual funds, obviously, you, you have, uh, you already mentioned that you almost do 99% mutual funds to uh, both your own portfolio and to your client. So, uh, Within mutual funds, many of the financial advisors are very heavy on equity uh, mutual funds, right? But uh, to what extent have you started recommending uh, funds beyond equity and to a large extent even hybrid funds? What other funds categories have you started really kind of tracking and recommending and what forms part of your uh, recommendations currently is in client's portfolio and why? So, yeah, so again, um, uh, Sadiq, you know, uh, I'll be very upfront here. Uh, with my money, my entire money, as you, as you know, is, is in equities in the first place and within equities, only mutual equity mutual funds and a couple of people. So I've never been a debt investor, okay? Uh, I've never been into hybrids as such. I'm a very aggressive investor. Uh, which means I I have seen a lot of drawdowns, huge drawdowns and long periods of underperformance and inaction. But it has rewarded me big time. Okay. Uh, my last 12 years, CAGR has been around 20%. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you, but, but it has been a roller coaster ride. I can show you again uh, just to, but it's a difficult journey. Let me just warn all advisors. It's, uh, you know, if I'm sure you all been to SL World and the big thing, it's a roller coaster ride. Many of my, uh, many of you would have seen this slide time and again. Uh, uh, I don't know, Sadiq, you are, you must be seeing for the first time. Uh, so 2010, if you see the first chart, 2010 to 2013, I started. Uh, first three years, it was minus two lakhs. Okay. Uh, 50 lakhs is what I put in, if you see in the box and I was sitting on minus 3%. I tell my clients, 99% of my clients will leave me if they see minus two lakhs at the end of first three years and minus 3%. Telling me that mutual fund is not FD I was return in my business, I was in my business, I Fast forward to next eight years, uh, I, I invested around 4 CR 3.78, which became 5.87, sitting on 2 CR profit, and my eight year CGR was 18%. Okay, which was minus 3, minus 3 became 18%. So again, people tell me, uh, ki, you know, you are lucky, you are okay, kind of thing. But most of my money was in small cap. And if you remember, 31st January 2018, small cap was at all time high. And that's how I made this return. And I knew very well that this would not last long. It will come down. I was prepared for it. And 24th March 2020, okay, COVID came. Tab tak maine odd 2 CR extra dal tha. And if I tell you for the first time that, you know, I industry has been selling that 10 years money banta hai. But after 10 years, there was this moment when my net value, closing value was less than my cost of capital. Matlab, oh, wow. ke mein, I was sitting on minus 26 lakhs and minus 1%. Mm. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, kal main na ek Twitter pad raha tha. Uh, acha Twitter tha. Usme jo bus drivers hote in Britain or some country, you know, they were made to do a test where they were made to drive a cycle. Okay. Mm. Uh, a dummy cycle. और वो जो साइकिल चलाते हैं ना तो उनके एकदम पास में से बस निकलती है एकदम पास में से वेरी क्लोज यू नो व्हाई दीस ड्राइवर्स आर मेड टू डू दिस थिंग बिकॉज़ ओनली बाय डूइंग दिस दे दे फील द पेन कि अगर बस इतने पास में से जाती तो हाउ एज अ साइक्लिस्ट यू फील यू नो तो व्हेन दे आर बस ड्राइवर्स दे डोंट फील द पेन ऑफ यू नो बीइंग अ साइक्लिस्ट ओनली व्हेन दे वी मेड टू डू दिस एंड बस जब उनके पास में से जा रही था यू कुड यू शुड सी द एक्सप्रेशंस ऑन द फेस ओके so, you know, so you have to feel the pain, what your clients feel. Okay. Absolutely. And by investing your money into here. And when I see minus 26 lakhs on my portfolio after 10 years, you know, no client come and tell me, ki Gajindra, you know, ki mera hai aur tum, tum ko to kya, tumko kya farak padta hai, right? Many mm-hmm. t- clients tell us, 
when i show this i tell them look either we swim together or sing together mm. in right. times like this not only you who have lost this i have also and finally but because i kept the patience 18 months later from minus 26 lakh it, it became 9.2 to cr profit okay wow. from a portfolio of 585 19 cr in 4x 4x growth in next 18 months and if i tell you sadik last 10 years indian mm. equities have given around 11% returns nifty mm. but mera portfolio agar aap ekdam bottom left mein dekho how much equity has given 20% cagr mm. for last 12 years okay amazing so so i i i fail to understand that if this wonderful product has given 20% return i have not paid tax to government of india because i have not withdrawn money why should you need to go in any other product just for the sake of you know kind of showing uh, so that is why all my 99% of my money is in mutual funds and i stick to aggressive but when it comes to see my client cannot go through this cycle you also know that you know each one of us are different and that is why what i've realized and it is of course through hard way you realize right uh, after covid i realized that a lot of my clients were not ready for this kind of uh, volatility so once when market started going up again from 26000 to 45 50000 gradually i shifted their money from uh, you know pure equity funds to hybrid funds you know aggressive hybrid or baf so because our clients come with us 12% expectation 11% why we should try and give them 15 and 18% returns right to 15% hoga to ye nahi bolega ki gajinder chalo aapne mera extra banaya to ye 3 taka profit le lo wo kabhi nahi karne wale but when it is loss they will put all the blame to you and forget about loss and uh, this thing blame they will not continue the journey after 3 years they say this is not a good product let me pull out my money oh. and they are doing permanent damage to your to their portfolio ever because they will never come back to mutual funds hmm. but if i can give them a very less volatile ride by you know uh, just 10 12% return and very less downside if they stay for 5 7 years compounding automatically starts in their portfolio and then they will become lifelong brand ambassador of this product they will get to another clients you know you don't have to when get the clients absolutely so this, this is, is a, this, this is this is an amazingly good uh, roller coaster ride uh, gajendra and it gives you so much confidence you know uh, started with 50 lakhs now grown the portfolio almost to 20 crores or i think it has crossed 20 crores now right Correct. yes and, it uh, is and this is still you know just one fifth of the journey you have to take it to 100 crores which so will again, definitely happen so again again one more thing now that you said this is yes so now when i tell people ki i am 42 right now okay and uh, i am at 22 right now uh, uh, this thing if i ask my clients now that do you think this will become 100 because my i am 42 my idea is to touch it before 50th birthday okay so then um, and by the way i don't know you know uh, so this is what i tell people uh, so you know many of our clients why they trust us sadik in covid be fear you know ye sab warren buffett ki baatein sab log bolte hain but kitne log karte hain uh, you know march 2020 mein kitne logon mein guts tha ki market mein paisa dale mm-hmm. if you see on the right hand side first chart 86 lakhs of my money went to small cap funds in march and april oh wow you can see here that's okay. guts that's guts yeah you know you need to have money and but more importantly you need to have courage Courage, okay. absolute courage. So, so I we did this and sent out a newsletter to our clients saying that this is what I've done. If you have money, you should put it. And a lot of our clients did that after seeing this. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And you know, buy buy when there is a blood in the street, even if the blood is your own. So it was my blood. I showed you minus 26 lakhs I was sitting on, right? <laughs> and and to invest when your when your uh, you know investments are going down is is you require a lot of cards actually at that point of time. So, Absolutely. so I tell people when I tell people that I'm on 22, 20, 22 CR. If I can, you tell me if it becomes hundred crores in next eight years. Now my clients are telling me that yes, it will be easy. You know, <laughs> five years ago, they were doubtful. Lag raha tha, seven years ago, but now it's a simple story. This is the game of compounding. First twelve years was only hard work, but you know, if forget to 22, 20 be pakde to in three years. At 15% compounding, 20 becomes 30. And 30 becomes 60 in five years, 15%. Then I'm doing another 18, 20 lakh ka SIP. Okay. So, uh, in the next year, 40 will come to 60 plus 40 will easily 100. Ho jata hai. I'm not even talking that I'm going to put a lump sum. Like, you know, recently I put another 
20 30 lakhs lump sum i mean uh, uh, 10 days back you know some there was some opportunity i put it wo sab to main count bhi nahi kar raha i'm just talking about and and one thing i want to tell this audience okay and it's a very important point guys ye jo aap wealth dekh rahe ho na ye wealth malum hai kaise bani hai ye wealth mere dimag se nahi bani hai ye maine dimag nahi lagaya to bani hai okay <laughs> हम लोग सोचते हैं कि वी आर गॉड्स गिफ्ट टू मैन काइंड हम लोग को फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर हमको सब पता है अगर आप दिमाग लगाओगे ना तो ये वेल्थ नहीं बनेगा इन लास्ट ट्वेल्व इयर्स इट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डिसिप्लिन एंड पेशेंस ओके दिस एस आई पी विच आई बिन डूइंग स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू वन लैख टू थ्री लैख टू फाइव लैख टू टू डे सेवेंटी लैख फिगर ये आंख बंद करके किए हैं ना डिसिप्लिन की मार्केट सिक्सटी वन है ये फिफ्टी वन है डजेंट मैटर ये जाना चाहिए सेकेंड पेशेंस डोंट टच इट unless you have completed these are the only two reasons why this wealth has been made okay so this is what i want to tell all of you that whatever is your target don't think that because we are talking to fund managers and we are talking to this we have good idea ye sab sab cheez noise hai just stick to the process i mean discipline and patience you will, you will also be able to create whatever you want so this was very important point sadhik which i wanted to bring and uh, gajendra this is you know every time it's just inspiring just seeing you and talking to talking to you about your dreams aspirations and more than anything you know why you are doing what you are doing and uh, we all know that uh, you know you still don't own a car although you aspire to uh, own a rolls royce and i'm sure the 100 crores which you are going to build it has a much deeper purpose than just showing off 100 crores or you know doing some materialistic things with those 100 crores right Okay. uh so gajendra thanks a lot for joining in uh, and and one last question before we uh, end this uh, uh, end this conversation since you know you need to leave and we are at 35 right now uh, 435 uh can you show us something uh, interesting in your laptop which apart from all the things which we have seen anything else that you think you know can inspire us to say yeah this is a great practice to follow let me also try and do it yeah so both simple again uh, a few things which i want to show uh, so you know uh, unfortunately our industry again uh, uh, you know is only going one way direction ki you know save karo paisa banao invest karo you know returns banao everything but finally what is the purpose the end purpose of money is to be spent sadik okay uh, it is not to uh, our role as an advisor doesn't end on telling client ki uh, kya bolte hain isko paper pe cgr by showing cgr growth only on paper right our our job as a client is to is to uh, uh is to help them live that journey okay uh, for what they wanted so so the thing which i show to my investors is is this actually uh which is very interesting so i thought i must share so this is my new wall in my office right now are you able to see no it's i think start ha uh, now it's there yeah you are yes. able to see now yes so if you see this is the new wall uh, uh this is one edit in the middle so i tell my clients uh, you know khali paisa nahi banana aapko because agar aapne khali life mein paisa hi banaya aur kuch nahi kiya to then as bob marley said some people are so poor all they have is money <laughs> right so so as a financial advisor my role is to make sure that you create wealth but you enjoy it wealth in your lifetime and not after that right correct because i've seen few of my clients who passed away at 65 left lot of wealth for their children they never enjoyed it right and uh, many of my client again when they come to me i said look uh, so if if you know if the client comes to me and tell me ki you know mere ko ye kuch paisa ye 10 lakh 20 lakh dalna the first question which i ask is uh how what, what how much you travel and if i get an answer ki they they're not traveling and they want to save for buying a house in this thing i make sure that they first invest or travel they spend on travel because this is a passport which i got it made a passport frame which is money returns but time does not hmm you know aap aur main sab hum log bahut paisa bana lenge 10 saal baad but time nahi aayega wapas hmm so so that is what you need to do it so we make our clients spend lot of money we tell our clients you know if you don't fly business class i mean we know certain clients who can fly business class but are not flying business class because are itna paisa lag jayega so we tell them ki agar aap nahi agar aap nahi fly karoge to paisa nikal lo sara yahan se i don't want to be a manager <laughs> so okay. so so that is where i think you know our our role uh, as as a 
as of this thing come yeah. and one uh, one lovely thing which i want to share is this one actually jo maine one idiot ke liye banaya hai this is my favorite you know as steve jobs is the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do so Absolutely. so you know so ye one idiot ka wohi maqsad hai ki karke dikhana and one final good image is this one this this is right on my top you know where i sit it is right on the top fly or fall oh my god yeah <laughs> so, amazing amazing fly or fall great gajendra it's a uh, lovely uh, talking to you uh, having your insights getting inspired by you uh, one last thing uh, you know you shared the last network fp uh, annual summit uh, in january 2020 before covid now we are back with the the conference uh, in january uh, what is your message to the rest of us about how to see this conference and should we all make it to this conference which is happening in january at uh, 20 uh, 23 at the lalit in in uh, mumbai so guys uh, uh, see the only thing which i can tell you don't look this conference uh, as just another conference okay and i'm not see i always have had a huge respect for network fp and the work they do because they put the soul into it okay uh, i've been a big beneficiary of of i i and i'm giving you i'm telling you first hand experience okay दस साल मैं भी आपके जैसे ही था दोस्तों यू नो मुझे भी पता नहीं था कि दस साल बाद इतना यहाँ ये जर्नी आएंगे प्रैक्टिस and if possible try to opt for physical conference uh, why i am saying because the the environment itself is very different uh, you know a lot of things you learn you know b- uh, beyond the room itself by talking to many advisors senior advisors who come and you know are part of the, this thing so jo offline con- offline jo your informal conversations hota na these are amazing okay and three days of good learning deep learning making notes and and going back and applying this thing so so see i only believe in one thing if in 3 days if you can just put up one idea and practice it your cost and everything will be worth i mean many times over the, the returns that you will be getting will be far bigger than what cost you would have incurred so don't miss this opportunity <laughs> gajendra i really love two quotes which you use like every other day or every single day one is you know whatever is good for the client is good for me or my firm I I just love that quote and I have actually made it part of my QPFP curriculum that what as part of our ethics uh, ethics uh, uh, topic and the second one is you know the best investment you can ever make is in knowledge or the best return uh, how do you frame it um, uh, the highest return you get is on knowledge on knowledge right? nothing because you know he, this is priceless sadik uh, you know this one session i'm not sure uh, many people tell me uh, you know Brijesh conducted a similar session, Sadek, and uh, I don't, I didn't know it will become viral. And today, I get hundreds of feedbacks when I go to any city and say, "Sir, आपका वो एक session मैंने चार बार देखा है, पांच बार देखा है, okay? And every time I'm demotivated, I see that session and it charges me up, okay? So you know, you you never know what one idea can change somebody's life. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so that is how I always, uh, you know, <laughs> treated uh, the learning, and. दस बारह साल में जो भी है इट्स ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ लर्निंग नथिंग एल्स एब्सोल्युटली थैंक यू सो मच गजेंद्र लवली हैविंग यू फ्रेंड्स हाउ डिड यू ऑल लाइक बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस सेशन ऑन द चैट कैन वी हैव वन वर्ड फॉर गजेंद्र कोटारी ऑन द चैट प्लीज एंड बैंग ऑन रिमार्केबल वंडरफुल सुपर फैंटास्टिक सुपर एक्सीलेंट ऑसम एक्सीलेंट एक्सीलेंट दिस मैन हैज चेंज माय लाइफ so gajendra you are sitting in mumbai but you are changing people's lives inspiring people from across india so thanks a lot gajendra for joining in today taking out time and uh, look forward to meet you very soon you and all others in january physically instead of this zoom we'll do a lot of physical meetups in january with each other thanks sir for joining sure. thank you yeah bye thanks a lot